I feel like you guys were on and off with this person a long time, or you were trying to get things going, but then it just sort of fell flat. What about this long-distance person? This long-distance person? Genius. An athlete with the soldier car. Look at this. This individual long distance look TikTok notification. TikTok, you're about to meet them. It's an Aries or Leo that's married. That's going to try to get with you. Okay, so you might want to prepare yourself. People are coming. Okay, they're coming. They're showing their face to you. And they're making their move. This individual apologizing to you, they could be mad with power. Okay, they could be obsessed. They could be somebody that like stalks everybody or something. I don't know. Or they could be in the medical field. Taurus that has been stalking you for months or years. They could live in your neighborhood or your apartment building, I'm hearing. Or who are all these people? Gemini, like you. Hello, Gemini. How are you? Welcome back to the channel starseeds i here if you're new make sure to subscribe and join the soul tribe we have a read for you guys okay this is who's coming towards you it is a general read take what resonates leave what doesn't behind cross washers you are welcome this message is also timeless personal reads are in the link tree link in the description box below i want to thank everyone for all the support and with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, guide us in this raid for my Geminis. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light, Gemini. Who's coming towards you at this time, my Geminis? What's happening? Okay, we have number six on the side. So this is the lovers on the side. This is Gemini, and this is Mercury getting ready to station direct. Uranus, your sister air sign. This is Aquarius. This is the star card upright, and this is Uranus. And transit and then we have taurus on the side okay higher fed on the side venus getting ready to station direct we have two fixed signs here that are making an appearance energetically in your read gemini here is the king of pentacles so it sounds like there's a capricorn or a taurus two of swords for a lot of you, it's a Capricorn here. Gemini. There's a Capricorn here that's trying to... For a lot of you, they could be a Capricorn. Mm. If not, this is somebody that's really stubborn. Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups. Like, you, like they're in love with you, but they're really stubborn. They get in their own way, basically. That's what's coming towards you, but they're trying to the they're trying to decide something here when it comes to you and them. I feel like you guys were on and off with this person a long time, or you were trying to get things going, but then it just sort of fell flat. But they're, like, obsessed. They can't stop washing you. You see, this is you over here, whoever you are. Okay, regardless of your gender, love, that's you over there minding your business. But you see, this is them looking over at you, washing you from afar. I'm hearing something about travel. This person is traveling over to your place soon, Gemini. They're going to come really close to you. Okay, especially if they're from out of state or out of the country. This individual is about to show up, stalking you first, following you first, unbeknownst to you. Okay, this is for those of you, right? This individual, you could live in a different part of town, different part of the state, or they live in different state, different country from you. But they're about to do a pop-up. And I feel like when they do this pop-up, they're going to message you asking you if you wish to meet up with them. 
And you're going to have to decide. Two of Swords, Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups. Ace of Wands on the side. Five of Cups. What else, Spirit? Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Swords. Now, what's this all about? Clarify this energy. The Ace of Wands, Wheel of Fortune on the side. Two of Wands, Justice. That's a Sagittarius or a Libra. Or they could be Sag, Sun, Libra Rising, or Libra Moon. But they've been washing you. For a lot of you, it's a Sagittarius that's just been washing you. Not really saying anything they're about to come in but i feel like their communication is really weird like it's like you can't tell if they want to be just friends with you or if they want something more like their communication is not really clear here they have strong sash and libra energy I feel like Gemini, the point of this read is like, who do you want to be with or do you even want to be with anybody at this point, right? The Hierophant on the side here on the dice, the Lovers on the side, the Star in the center. Do you even want to be in a relationship at this point or do you want to keep to yourself? Do you want to be single? Do you want to have boundaries up because uh, perhaps love has just been too disappointing in the past with what has happened, right? Certain things have happened in your love life that have left you in the Five of Cups in some type of disappointment or sadness, okay? A sense of loss or grief. So you have gone through your heartbreak, right? And Ace of Wands, Wheel of Fortune on the side, you could be debating, you know, is it, is it time to begin something new, to move forward, to take that step forward, to have that love connection right yes we have justice but we have to remember justice is ruled by venus which is the planet of love is a time to advance to move forward right you see the little sphere there right is a time to travel onward to a new horizon when it comes to love i do see a sash libra energy there this individual has very fair skin Brown hair, brown, uh, like brown wavy hair, almost like scrunchy. If this is a man, he could have long brown hair and a beard. Three of wands, ace of swords. Y'all, somebody's about to, you're about to get a visit from somebody far away. Gemini, that's all I got to say with the three of wands and the ace of swords. Somebody's getting on the plane to see you. You're about to get a visit from somebody that lives very far from you. I feel like this is a completely different energy from this energy here in the center. Like somebody here is about to fly out to see you. Somebody's about to reach out to you saying they want to meet you. They're at a distance from you, but they can fly over to see you. Would you be down to meet them? And this is going to be rather... This is going to be rather shocking with the Four of Cups there. You definitely do not see this coming. She's looking the other way, but this cup is being offered to her, right? So you don't see this coming, this over here. Somebody long distance. I don't even know how this person is getting your number or finding your social media. Like, I don't even know. I'm not even going to try to figure that out because, you know, when the universe wants the universe, the universe is going to universe, okay? If you know, you know. Once the magic starts magicking, okay, for those manifestations, it's going to start magicking and manifesting. And, you know, forget all logic at that point, because how are you going to explain this? It's like the perfect time, the perfect place, the perfect hour, you know. But there's somebody here coming in that's going to throw in quite the shock. Yeah, Leo, for a lot of you, it's a Leo that's going to say they can fly out to meet you. It's either a Leo or a Cancer. They're going to tell you they can fly out or they can drive over there to you, okay? If they are in the same country as you, they're going to tell you that they can drive over to you. Do you want to meet up with them? Anything else? Anything else? The world, I'm, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, they're from a different part of the world. 
than you. This is a different situation over here in the corner. Here we have the Five of Wands, yep, and that's another situation. Queen of Swords and Ten of Swords, yeah. Somebody here, you, you've been on and off with somebody here. You've been dealing with somebody, Gemini, for quite some time, but you had to turn your back on that situation because you and this individual over here, you kept, you know, you kept getting into some type of disagreement or argument. So this is where the two of you are at right now, but nevertheless, they are going to speak to you, right? They're going to do a pull-up. They're going to do a pop-up. So this over here is somebody that you already dealt with. This is a stalker that's Sag or Libra, right? And then this is a completely new energy. They're a Leo or Cancer, and they're going to reach out to you randomly and, you know, basically say if you want to link up, if, you know, you want to hang. Eight of Cups is here, Ten of Wands. I'm getting something here about a big mole for a lot of you. There's something here about a lot of you packing up your stuff. Knight of Cups. So then we have a Pisces that's going to come into your life as well. A younger Pisces. They could be a barber, a hairstylist, a hairstylist, excuse me, a bartender or a personal trainer. This is a younger Pisces. Okay, very young compared to you. There could be a 20 year age gap between you and this young Pisces. Okay, um, he, she, they, them, whoever this Pisces is. But you're going to meet this Pisces while you're out and about, they're actually going to approach you, Gemini. So you may end up being intimidated this month because people are approaching you, okay? So you might want to prepare yourself. People are coming, okay? They're coming. They're showing their face to you, and they're making their move. So, yeah, here we have Death, Nine of Swords, King of Swords. What on earth is this Death Nine of Swords? It's an Aries here. Aries, Scorpio energy, Three of Pentacles, somebody that's married. You have like five different people. This is too much. This is too much. You have like a bunch of people coming your way. It's a married man or a married woman here. And they're going to try to have a fling with you as well. But they are stressed because they don't know how they're going to end their marriage. So... What do you see happening? What do you see happening here? Page of Cups. King of Swords. Ten of Swords. Okay, so the the first energy that we talked about, Gemini, they are going to apologize to you. They're going to tell you that they're deeply sorry, okay? The first energy that we spoke about. They're going to tell you that they're sorry, right? They're going to admit that, you know, the way they were acting was not right and... They hope that you find it in your heart to forgive them for what they did. They're they're owning up to it. King of Swords, they're telling you the full truth. The thing is, I feel like when they come in, you're not wanting to hear this. Or you're tired of it. What else do we have? King of Cups. Five of Wands. What's this King of Cups energy? What What is this? What is going on? Spirit, Eight of Swords, Six of Cups. Wow. Y'all, when I tell you it's a Pisces here, they could be 20 years younger than you. There's an age gap with you and this Pisces. Oh, yes. Um, and love, I don't, look, I, I don't judge people, so taste their own, but this might be a bit controversial, like you getting with this person that's 20 years older than you or 20 years younger like this might be a bit of a controversy okay it may stir up some drama in the community gemini i feel like you're a free asian like what do you wish to do what do you wish to do love okay what do you wish to do here knight of pentacles ten of wands seven of swords who are all these people gemini like you love you gotta try out for like some type of show somebody here needs to try out for survivor on cbs like because you'll make it whoever you are like or you gotta try out maybe for the amazing race or something ish because who are you who are all these people like what's happening what's going on this young pisces somebody else apologizing then you're gonna have a taurus here a taurus that has been stalking you for months or years they could live in your neighborhood or your apartment building, I'm hearing. 
But this Taurus has been stalking you, and they want to do that thing, okay, with the Seven of Swords and Four of Swords, okay? Quagmire from Family Guy, if you know, you know, okay? They want to get that thing going with you, Gemini, okay? They want to do that thing. Yeah, we're, we're just going to leave it at that. What's going to happen here with Gemini? Because this read is too much, and, you know... <sighs> High Priestess, Knight of Swords, Ace of Cups. You're going to have to... Uh, you are going to pursue a relationship here. It's weird, y'all. Y'all going to take action with the Sagittarius? Y'all going to take action with the Sagittarius or the Pisces? The young or older Pisces. Like, that's that's who you're going to take action with. There is an Aries or Leo that's married that's going to try to get with you. And then you have a Libra energy over there, a Libra Sag energy over there as well that's going to reveal themselves. This, is, I'm all over the place. It's too much. It's too many energies. It's too many energies. So let's look at some of these people. Who are some of these people that are coming into the lives of my Geminis? Who are some of these energies? A researcher, okay? researcher somebody is like a mad scientist or something okay very much or they could be a doctor okay for a lot of you or they could just be mad with power i, I don't know I, this individual apologizing to you they could be mad with power okay they could be obsessed they could be somebody that like stalks everybody or something i don't know or they could be in the medical field um or they could be a scientist right you have the married person here. Literally, they got married in the church, a huge celebration, and here they go. They want to, you know, they want to go over there to you, and I don't even know. Bye with that one. That, that They literally had a whole wedding celebration. It's, it's a religious person that got married, had a big, beautiful wedding, and everybody was crying at the beauty of this wedding, and now they want to, like, what? Bye with this fireman there's a fireman or a firewoman that's the tour center she they could even be a volunteer volunteering for the fire department so that's the Taurus energy so that Taurus energy they're on fire you also have repairman here and young this is that pisces energy and look waiter is going to be there as well so they could be somebody that snowboards skis skateboards um rollerblades right a repairman is there then you have waiter, right? They do even this artwork. Like this is this young or older Pisces. They are someone that works very hard for what they have. Okay, definitely they do a lot of physical work. Okay, what about this long distance person? This long distance person, genius. An athlete with the soldier card. Look at this. This individual long distance look TikTok notification. TikTok, you're about to meet them. This is what I was saying. You're going to end up either with this young or older Pisces or with this person that lives far away from you. And they're telling you like, hey, I can fly out over there to you. I can fly out over there to you or I can drive over there to you. It's not a problem. Let's link up. I miss somebody. Uh, I miss somebody. No, I think I got everybody. Right? It was five people. One, two, three, four, five. If I miss somebody else, I guess their energy just isn't as dominant. But this is where I'm going to leave it. Because otherwise the read is going to get too confusing. It shows you moving forward with this Pisces or with this Leo Cancer energy that lives far away from you. So that's your read. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck. And everything.